It's so important for us, for our Indo-American community to work together with back home, our Janam Bhumi, our Matra Bhumi, especially connecting the Karam Bhumi with Matra Bhumi is so important to us. So ladies and gentlemen, we have a former mayor and a current council member from the city of Saratoga, Tina Wali, an honorable Wali. Once again, it's a pleasure to meet you. Dr. Jafra, there are no words to describe what you have done. And thank you. You have built this community together, Dr. Jafra, so that people like me, people like Teresa Cox, Mayor Klein, Morley, Rishi, we can all serve you together. Just like me before, he was just a doctor, and then his MBBS. <laughs> Then he joined the IFS, Indian Foreign Service, and believe me, he just uh, sailed through it. And uh, not only that, uh, he's traveled to Germany, he's represented there in the embassy, and even in New Delhi, in the desk, especially taking care of the Pakistan desk. You know, it's not easy. So he get a lot of experience, and lately he's been in the trade and commerce, and he has done wonderful jobs over there. And we sitting here in the Silicon Valley, uh, that's our number one thing. Even though literally, uh, you've been hearing me out that I'm in trying to empower our community politically as well. Uh, we've done it, uh, like I said, culturally, socially, spiritually, even economically. But now it's a lot more important even politically. So we have a lot of uh, representatives over here. Some of you are already been elected. Uh, we'll be recognizing them uh, later on. And some of you are getting into the field, even though you are in IT or doctors or any other positions, but you're willing to throw yourself into this arena, this crazy arena of a political field uh, and try to represent us. So we are very, very proud of all of you, those who are, are trying to do that. And we're gonna support you all the way. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, the person uh, who we are here to welcome, this, uh, that's why we call it welcome reception, who is uh, uh, representing India, Bharat, now we call it, uh, Bharat Ma, uh, right here in Consul General of uh, San Francisco, uh, which is Consul General of India in San Francisco. We are very, very fortunate and lucky that it's in, it's in our backyard, right here in San Francisco, and especially this covers a lot of areas, right from all the way, Seattle, Oregon, this, Arizona, Mexico, and many, many other areas on the West Coast. Uh, well, we are very fortunate, we are right here, so we, we get to meet with them, uh, have pictures with them, get, discuss our issues, our concerns, our interests, and we are very, very fortunate we can get them involved in a, in a lot bigger way. And of course, uh, our DCG who's been here, he was here a few days ago as well, he's also with us, and he's been uh, Rakesh uh, Adlakhaji, and uh, he's been here many, many times, uh, he's been part of us, has been supporting us, helping us. But today, ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together and welcome Honorable Council General Peter Merrill. Yeah, Dr. Ramesh Jafraji, Mayor Sanive, and also other elected representatives present here, and all the uh, members of the Indian American community friends of India, friends from the media. Good evening, Namaskar, Sasriya Kaal, Adab. First of all, I would like to thank Ramesh Japraji for organizing this welcome. Yeah. Yeah. It is a great honor and privilege to represent India as a consul general to the West Coast of the America. And already, Jafraji mentioned the area which we cover, but uh, uh, the day I landed, next day there was an important event which was organized by FOG. So I had the, means I was, uh, I, even before I came here, I was told about the good work which is done by 
the Festival of Globe and also the Federation of Indian Association that is being led by Dr. Ramesh Japraji. So that's why, uh, despite within uh, 12 hours of my reaching San Francisco, I decided to attend uh, this event. Yeah. And uh, I was really surprised to see the scale at which uh, the parade was organized, including floats from various uh, states of India, uh, showcasing the uh, unity and diversity of India and also uh, enthusing a lot of, I think, uh, more than uh, that day, I think, more close to four or five thousand people uh, participated in the event. So I congratulate Dr. Jafraji for organizing successfully that uh, event. It is also a great pleasure for me to meet with you all of you today. A very highly successful Indian uh, members of the Indian community with a great hard work, dedication, innovation, entrepreneurship. You are doing a great job not only for the United States, which you have adopted, as you are, like Jafraji mentioned, Karamumi, but uh, you are also contributing a lot to the motherland, which is the Janbumi, Bharat, or India, like Jafraji mentioned. So, just to give an example, last year, India has received overall remittances of around 112 billion US dollars, out of which 24 percent is from America, the single largest, with a value of 26 billion. So, we are contributing a lot to the Indian economy also through your remittances and also through your investments, also to your entrepreneurship. But, uh, like uh, Japraji mentioned, there is a good uh, now one home between India and United States at the highest level. So, recently our Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji visited Washington in the June this year and also President Biden was in India for the G20 summit. There also they had a bilateral meeting. So both had laid down the cooperation for both countries in all areas of human endeavors. In any, any area, you name it, we have the cooperation. But uh, recently, uh, means, uh, uh, our Prime Minister Nandra Modi ji gave a call for all the Indians living in India and also abroad to make India a developed country by 2047. So we require, we require support from key partners like US and also especially also strive for unity and diversity. Thank you very much, Jabraji, for doing it. So, I uh, completed one year as the Consul General. Already, we have taken some measures to streamline all the services that are being provided by the Consulate. Like, we are trying to now uh, ensure that passports are given within one week's time, uh, within the, after the time of the application. And uh, most of the uh, services also we are streamlining, like OCA also we are in discussion with Delhi also to streamline the processes because we have seen some uh, some of the conditions are a little bit onerous for some of the Indian Americans who have given up their citizenship and taken the US passport. But we are also like uh, uh, within the next uh, uh, couple of weeks I think uh, we will be able to further streamline all the services. My, my endeavor is to provide all the services in a timely and a transparent manner to all the Indian American community based in, uh, in the West Coast. So that is my endeavor. And <laughs> the other important thing like Dr. Jafraji already mentioned, I am coming from straight from Ministry of Commerce and Industry. So my this thing is like already we have uh, convergence at the political and strategic level uh, uh, at our, the uh, leadership level. but. Our economic and commercial partnership, there is a lot of scope to take it to the next level. While the US is the largest partner of India in terms of trade and investment, but still, uh, like uh, for example, overall bilateral trade was 182 billion US dollars last year. But if you see uh, the percentage of overall US imports and exports, it's hardly 2%. So we see, uh, like uh, for example, China, uh, it is uh, around 10%. So, we, we have a lot of scope, I think, to at least double and also triple our uh, trade and investment partnership uh, with the US and India. So I request all the members of the Indian community, especially who are into, who, who, are, who are having companies or who are in high positions in uh, Fortune 500 companies in the West Coast, please work with the consulate. We are looking forward to working with you all to enhance this uh, commercial and economic partnership and take it to the next level. So, thank you very much, uh, Jabraji. We look forward to working closely with FOG and FIA team members and also the individual verticals like we have various 
people uh, doing various cultural events. The consulate will be there to support any anything you are doing to promote uh, men's or culture and also India Indian interest here. Consulate will look forward to working closely with uh, Dr. Jabra, you and also all the Indian American community in the Bay Area. So thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, as a uh, lot of organizations, I'm going to request Vidya later to, to enumerate all of them and, and name them so uh, so that we don't miss anybody out there. But uh, first, we would like to honor him. I'm going to request all the elected members to come up here. Uh, we have the mayor of uh, Sunnyvale here with us, Larry Klein, if you could come on the stage. And of course, uh, our council member, Honorable uh, Modi Sinivasan, uh, he's also from Sunnyvale, he's with us. And in the city of Fremont, we already have our vice mayor over here with Teresa Cox. And then in the city of Saratoga, we have Rishi Kumar and uh, Tina Walia, uh, council members, uh, if you could please uh, come on the stage. And the uh, great city of Santa Clara, we have Raj Chal, uh, of course, uh, you know, the 49ers town and of course, <laughs> a, a big town and we always love to have him. And please, all the other, uh, I think, uh, I, I don't know if I saw uh, everybody, I don't know was here earlier. Uh, who are the other elected members? If I'm missing anybody, uh, please uh, come up with it. Of course, we have a lot of commissioners and others, our, our uh, people over there, but we want to recognize them as well. But uh, uh, I'm also going to request the Council General also to come and join us, uh, the KG of the KG uh, And uh, again, a great sport. Uh, a lot of us, you know, we, we need sometimes the services from the Council, and then he's very, very prompt, uh, especially for the emergency services. It is a, but he's ready to get things done. And as you already heard, he's already making a difference in our community. And, and so, so I'm happy to be mayor of Sunnyvale. You know, we have a very diverse community, a very large Indian uh, American community. And I just want to be very happy that we have I'm just overjoyed to be able to represent a very diverse community with with you know great members like you, and so uh, for me it's just a privilege to be part of it, to be part of this community, and just to have you know representatives that are ready to work with us, ready to work with the entire Bay Area to lift up those voices, to not lose those traditions, but to make sure that everyone's making a difference. And thank you for those future candidates that that run to run. You know I do think that lift, uplifting the Indian voice is a critical thing that you can do. And so for me, you know, uh, we have our most diverse council ever uh, from a Sunnyvale standpoint, and that's thanks to Murley, but that's thanks to the support. One group, and it was a coin toss. It was a coin toss. So every vote matters. You know, my record, we won with the highest votes in 66 years of Saratoga. Nobody's beaten our record, but in Saratoga, Indian Americans, they vote only, only we are popular population of 1,500 registered voters and only about 45 or so vote on a high propensity basis. Our voting record is extremely low. We can fix that and we can make sure that Murli doesn't win my coin toss next year. <laughs> extremely important that each of us, we vote. 100% turnout from Indian Americans and it will take a big difference. You know, Chandrasekhar, is running for city council from Fremont. So just to, uh, I was declared winner by one vote. I made it into CNN, Fox, and all. <laughs> 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 Even Chinese media had an article about me. Then the recount happened, and then the votes were tied, and my name was pulled out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> so all I attribute that.
that too it is karma. So nobody can be in karma. So that's But anyway, jokes aside, it's really an honor to share the dash with you all. Welcome, I'm sure you say welcome. But anyway, as everybody, Dr. Jafra, uh, Rishi, and uh, Larry pointed out, we Indian community have to be active politically. It's the next phase. We can be donors, we can be community leaders, but that's the next level as I think. If you need any advice on working with registrar of voters, please <laughs> uh, So we want to make sure, and uh, that is one of the things. Passport, of course. Yeah, that's a serious <laughs> entry, of course. The border kings of the world, the journeys and everything. And we are very, very proud of all of you. You've done very well, but now let's uh, empower our community politically. I think it's so important. But together, we can make a difference because Fremont did pass Diwali as our holiday on our flag raising, but also celebrating our proclamation to represent the The Lenvana Cultural Association, University of Silicon Andhra, TCA, Tata, Telangana American Telugu Association, Overseas Friends for Better Bihar, Rana, HSS, Nacha, that's Chhattisgarh Association, BAPS, Rangmanch, Mountain House Sports and Recreation, Fog Bengal, Fog Telugu, Fog Odisha, Utsav, Sacramento, Bengal Association, and if I've missed somebody, please come to me. Uh, yeah, I, I said Bay Tamil Mandra. Here is uh, Jo Sharma. She's the chair of Fog Telugu, and she happens to be a Bollywood and um, Tollywood actress. She is Jo Sharma. Let's give it up for Jo. Please, Fog Telugu team, please come on stage. Fog Telugu team. Um, Jagan Garu, Arvind Garu, Satish Garu, Nagin Garu, Abhinay Garu, please come on stage. Bye, our own Park Telugu President Arvind Garu. Big round of applause.